Hello YouTube, what's up and welcome back to tutorial number three and in this video I'm just going to show you guys how to make some paragraphs, line breaks and headers. So if you guys watched the previous tutorial we just left off having some random text here in our body but uh, that's not the proper way to do things. Uh, so you guys probably noticed if you played around a little bit after that tutorial that um, it's quite hard. It's not as easy to make a paragraph as you might think. You can't just come in here and just type in uh, this is a paragraph and I'm going to spell this wrong. <coughs> That's paragraph one and um, Okay, number two. So you probably noticed if you try to make a bunch of different paragraphs like this where you went to paragraph one and then paragraph two and you save that and launch it in Firefox. Yeah, you, you probably noticed that uh, everything all appeared on one line even though you took all the time to hit enter here and like space it out all quite nicely in Notepad++ when you viewed it in your browser you still got it all on one line. And uh, that's quite annoying for some of you, but uh, like I said, it, that wasn't actually the proper way to do things. Um, to make a paragraph in HTML, you actually have to tell HTML that you are going to make a paragraph, and that's just because HTML is white space insensitive. So that just means I could have as much white space between my two paragraphs as I wanted every time I come back to. Firefox, I'm still just going to get everything on one line. So, like I said, we actually have to use a paragraph tag. And to do this, we just go smaller than, greater than sign. And then we use the keyword, which is P. And uh, to end it off, again, just forward slash P. And there we go. Now we have one paragraph. So our, para our first paragraph starts here, and then it ends here. And uh, then this is our second paragraph, so let's just start it and then end our second paragraph over here. Uh, oops. Okay, so there we go. Now when we go back and refresh this in Firefox, we get two beautiful paragraphs. How, would, how do you like that? Awesome. Okay, so this is paragraph one and that's paragraph number two. So that was pretty easy. All we had to do was actually just surround our text with the correct tag and we got two paragraphs pretty awesome uh, but what if we wanted instead of having two paragraphs we just wanted it to skip down a line so pretty much what I'm gonna do here now okay so what we had uh, when we didn't have any tags it was appearing in one line like this on our browser but what happens if we wanted it to be two lines so we wanted to go this is paragraph one and then hit enter and then go to this is paragraph two okay you probably noticed that if we just try to run it like this we'd get it all back on one line again so again HTML is uh, messing us around a little bit but uh, no worries because all we have to do is again just use the correct type of tag and uh, the tag that we have to use which would be the equivalent of hitting the enter key and moving it down a line is uh, the line break tag and to make the line break tag obviously it's the smaller than greater than symbols and then BR and uh, this is actually one of those single tags that I was telling you about so we don't have to have two of them we just have one and we put it exactly where we want our enter space to be which would be over here um, and like I said when you close off a single tag you have to have the forward slash inside the tag but after the keyword so here it is here inside the tag and after the keyword okay so let's go ahead and save that and uh, come back and view this in our browser and as you can see we've got our first line and then it all bumps down a line and starts on the second line so um, that's pretty cool that's exactly what we wanted um, and so now because we still got a little bit of time and I guys I promised you guys that we would uh, make a header let's go ahead and make some headers but uh, the first thing I need to tell you is that uh, 
in HTML, we actually have six different types of headers and they range from the biggest to the smallest. So let's go ahead and make our first header and to make our first header we go again we just use the correct tags which is a smaller than and greater than sign and inside that we have h1 for header 1 and then ending h1 and uh, like I said they go from the biggest to the smallest so h1 is going to be the biggest header and um, uh, let's just copy paste this a couple times Oops. <laughs> okay cool let's go what's that one header two header three header four header five and header six and like I said they range from the biggest to the smallest so then uh, this would be the smallest uh, header smallest this is the smallest header and then um, these ones will just be okay well I'm just gonna say yeah uh, the second biggest header third biggest header medium and second smallest header okay so now we've got uh, our six different headers and I can just go ahead and save that and go back to Firefox and when I push refresh we get our six headers and like I said they would go from biggest to smallest so we start off with the biggest header which is header one and then uh, header two which is the second biggest and so forth until we get all the way down to header six which is the smallest header but uh, as you can see, all the headers are bolded. Even the smallest one there is, is still bolded because it's a header and it is more important than the normal text. But uh, that's all I've got for you guys in this tutorial. So uh, feel free to join in on the next tutorial where we will learn some more cool HTML. But for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share my videos.